Hello and welcome to my art class website. I'm Helen Norton. I just wanted to give you a shout out as to who I am and what you'll find here in my art school. So number one, I want you to know that you can take up my courses no matter where you are in regards to art. It can just be as a hobby or even with some more professional motive in mind. Oh, and I have some more advanced courses coming up for those artists who really want to amplify their careers and they're being created right now. More on that soon. The courses I make are designed for any level of experience from an absolute beginner to an experienced artist wanting to just have a bit of a change from their normal styles or painting processes. If you'd like a little more detail on my background and my career as an artist, check out the longer video below. As a quick summary, after 30 years of dedication to my vocation as a professional exhibiting artist, I felt like I needed a change. And in doing so, I was trying to find a way it felt like to give back, especially to the wonderful community that supported my work over the decades as clients and fans. How could I help them in their own creative expression instead of just creating more paintings for them to buy? I still paint and I love it, but I just needed more. It's one of those midlife crises. I was pretty wary about this transformation from artist to teacher, as one thing I'd learned from my research into becoming an instructor was that being an artist in your studio working away every day on your own is quite different to transferring that knowledge successfully to someone else. It's like chalk and cheese. Artists are often quite insular and protective about their processes. So I decided to conduct an experiment. And last year I held an intense season of live workshops in my hometown of Perth, West Australia to see if teaching was something that I liked or could even do. As it turned out, I found that my students who were at every level of experience in art, from beginner to advanced, achieved great consistent results and I was energised in the process of helping them get there. I felt honoured to be teaching my skills to so many different individuals with their own special skills in the world. There were doctors, dentists, full-time artists, public servants, tradespeople, mothers, retirees and plenty of others. What blew me away was that they were willing to put aside their hard-earned expertise, you know, their own vocations, and become like children again and have a crack at painting with me and be the apprentices just for the sake of learning. This was a game changer in my mind. It showed me something really important, that no matter where we are in life, we all want to add to our experiences and learn new things or in the case of the artists in the room, come and have a play with a new way of doing things. For me personally, as a young woman, when I found the process of drawing and painting, as I was going through some troubled teenager times, I felt like I'd cracked some sort of magic code. I'll never forget it. The process, and I kept my drawings secret by the way, allowed me to express myself in a way that felt limitless. There were no rules. No one was looking over my shoulder, frowning. Remember, I wasn't even thinking about being an artist or showing what I was doing to anyone at that point. I just found out how I could use art to make my life better. I was able to blow off steam in a safe place. I knew that my imagination could be held comfortably inside art in a completely judgment-free zone. I couldn't get that kind of boundless acceptance in real life. I was always in trouble for trying to kick down the limits. <laughs> I found myself marveling how much control I had over my life when I just drew or painted. I mostly just drew. I could create any scenario I desired. I could draw realities that I wanted and just imagine them being real. That seemed to be enough for me to ease the pain. <laughs> you know that never changed through my whole career as an artist and 60 solo exhibitions. I often explored things that were bothering me. Still today, I could rave for hours about how incredible it is to be able to use art to express yourself. I know so many people are missing out on this wonderful place of self-expression simply because they're held back 
by notions of, you know, things like, I'm not good enough, or I can't paint for chips, and all that sort of stuff that's stuck in judgment from themselves and others instead of action. I'm self-taught. I was motivated to just do it, not by a desire to be an artist, uh -uh, but to relieve emotional pain. But you know what? As an artist, later, I kept pushing myself to learn more when I got stuck and I copped so much criticism in my career, but I'm a stubborn little sausage, <laughs> probably arrogant enough to survive all that. And it was mine from an early age. I didn't care, art was mine. I actually discovered it before I was even thinking about being taken seriously in the world. So no amount of critique could change my relationship with art. This is my view. I think we can do anything, we can make anything, and we don't have to be an expert to express ourselves. We just need to give ourselves permission, especially in art, because real art, the truth of art, is that it has no bounds, no judgment. Expressing yourself is a natural impulse. It's not a human right, it is who we are. Some people discover how to express themselves in life and some never even get that chance. All we need to be able to use art as a really amazing tool to express ourselves is a few skills, a bit of ABC, one, two, three, click clack, like learning to ride a bike to get us moving. And then we'll pick up motivation and confidence because of the small steps that accumulate. That's how I built my entire art career, through that process. So my motivation in teaching you is to lead by example, to have you follow along for a wee bit, holding my hand to learn the processes that I'm using in a step-by-step -step but relaxed fashion, and then for you to launch off when you're ready to start your own amazing journey of expressing yourself in art. I think because artists are as different in what they prefer to paint as personalities in the world, the only way to discover what sort of an artist you are is to do lots of different things to see what really works. Hence, I'll be offering very different types of painting styles and mediums so you can try them out with me to hopefully build up your creative expression muscles. I've got many more short and long courses planned for this year, so stick around. I hope to see you soon inside the making and doing space. Bye for now.